all right i got the charge pipe here i got that mass airflow sensor flange kind of mocked up in the location i need it i'm gonna start tanking it on right over there and i'll tack weld a little piece right from the back and then hopefully we fill those edges in as you can see there's a gap on both sides that's what i'm really worried about but we'll try our best and i'll uh, see how it goes and then here we had to recut this pipe with the bandsaw so it's a little off and not aligned properly but we refitted it test fitted it tacked it on and this this angle right here looks good so once we once we mount this on uh, we're gonna mount the blow off valve on probably under there we'll test fit and if everything looks good we'll be able to start fully welding this pipe getting it on the civic and we'll be good to go here goes nothing nothing yeah nothing Got my test fit right over here with the tacks. Pretty happy with it. Boom, bang. I think it's gonna look good. Let's mount the blow off valve area. Let's test it. Maybe we can tack that on too. I hate tack welding aluminum or welding aluminum. contamination from the gloves if you get too close
All right, we got the blow-off valve pretty much bored out here nice and big and we also did the same thing for the mass airflow sensor as you can see the mass airflow sensor positioned properly and barely fits but uh, it does clear we do have a little bit of clearance left on it which is perfect um, sometimes some of these uh math sensor bungs are taller and it kind of directs that airflow on that sensor right in the middle which could be a good thing and a bad thing for for my situation since i'm running a uh, map tune uh this doesn't really affect my tuning at all and i heard having it a little bit lower not in the center of the pipe actually will reduce the voltage range so that's exactly what our goal here was with the bigger piping is to reduce that voltage range that the mass airflow sensor was seeing so we don't max out our our system and we don't get check engine lights so i'm gonna mount the i'm gonna clean out this pipe from all the cleaning we just did and once it's clean and dry i'm gonna fully mount mass airflow sensor and the blow-off valve and we're gonna continue with this build so i pretty much just took the blow-off valve apart re-greased everything and uh yeah got my gasket in nothing to it but hopefully it just seals like it needs to All right, at this point, we bought heat reflective tape. So we're gonna mask this off to insulate it and keep the air temperatures cool because on this uh, turbo setup, the IATs are ridiculous in boost. Like from second gear, a second gear pull can go from 80 degrees intake air temps to the end of the pool. You can be over 100 degrees. So we're gonna mock this up through the whole pipe and go from there. see all wrapped up the edges don't come out as good as I want them to because it's not that flexible but again this is gonna be right here and it's shielded from all that exhaust gases now again for the downpipe I got my own heat wrap that I will be using so keep those things cool
I got the turbo mocked up on the bench pretty much. The only problem here is that the exhaust, the factory exhaust flange doesn't want to sit perfectly onto this flange over here. And even though I have my new gasket and we bored all this out to fit this gasket, that uh, this pipe right over here kind of wants to sit at an angle like like at an angle like this so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run a bead over here of weld that way the gasket can only go right here so pretty much i'm angling that gasket like so so it sits right there and that the s pipe can kind of mount in here and hopefully I'm, I'm hoping we reduce the amount of exhaust gases that are leaking out i don't know it's worth a shot and i'm gonna go with it the only thing is I'm pretty much zero on the argon so I don't even know how this weld's going to come out. I mean there might be some leftover argon in that bottle but it's the, the gauge is pretty much showing on zero so we have to get a refill one of these days. I just switched it to TIG because I wasn't going to go with AC since I'm not paying attention. I ain't here for the 